Bonjour, c'est Claire à French in the Midlands. I made this video to explain how to say this one and that one in French. It's a follow-up on my previous one where I explained the difference between this and that and I'll put the link in the, in the description so you can watch it if you want. As always in French, you have to make the difference between written French and spoken French. So let's start with the written French, which is the correct way of saying it. This one is translated in French by celui-ci for a masculine object or celle-ci for a feminine object. And you see in French, we actually say this one here, which is why we say celui-ci. It's in two parts. For that one, again, it's that one there. Celui-là for masculine, celle-là for feminine. Now, where there's more than one, and it's masculine, these become ceci for masculine, celle-ci for feminine. Again, we say these ones here. And those ones there is cela for masculine, celle-là for feminine. Now let's have a look what happens in spoken French. Actually, it's a lot more simple we completely do away with the this one and we keep that one and we use it for both. So that one becomes celui-là, celle-là, this one, celui-là, celle-là, same thing. And again, when there's more than one, we do away with the these and we keep those, cela, celle-là. It's not correct, but that's what we do when we speak because probably out of laziness. Let's have a look at some examples. When you want to say, would you rather buy this one or that one, talking about a masculine object? The correct way is, tu préfères acheter celui-ci ou celui-là? Okay, celui-ci, this one, celui-là, that one. Familiar, the pronunciation will change and will shorten celui-ci and celui-là. So it becomes Tu préfères acheter celui-ci or celui-là? This is what most people say, by the way. You will hear that a lot. The lazy or colloquial way is to completely do away with celui-ci and say, tu préfères acheter celui-là ou celui-là? Again, you will hear it. That's not correct, but you will hear it. Let's have a look at another example. Look at this belt in the shop window. No, not this one, that one. And bear in mind, a belt is feminine. So this is how you would translate that. Correct. Regarde cette ceinture dans la vitrine. Non, pas celle-ci, celle-là. The familiar or lazy way would be Regarde cette ceinture dans la vitrine. Non, pas celle-là, celle-là. Okay, so you do away with celle-ci and you, you say celle-là twice. Again, it's not correct, but you will hear it. So that's why I thought I'd better mention it. Let's have a look at another example. These are better than those, talking about a masculine plural object. The correct way, ceux-ci sont mieux Que cela. The lazy way, cela sont mieux que cela. Now, if you use a feminine plural for the same example, these are better than those for a feminine object. The correct way, celles-ci sont mieux que celles-là. The lazy way, celles-là sont mieux que celles-là. So, really, it's entirely up to you which way you choose. If you want to say celui-ci, celui-là, celle-ci, celle-là, it's not a problem. It's not too posh to say it correctly. Sometimes it is with written French, but in this instance it isn't. So it's entirely up to you which one you want to, to say, really. And that's it for now. If you've enjoyed this explanation, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. 
and you can always download your 12 golden rules of French for free by clicking the link in the description. A bientôt!